Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be going through how to hopefully resolve the screen brightness issues not working properly in Windows 10. Um, this tutorial will apply for earlier versions of Windows as well, but if you're having problems adjusting the brightness settings on your computer and it just doesn't seem to be fluctuating correctly, um, this tutorial is going to be for you guys. So we're going to just jump right into it by heading over to the start button and right clicking on it and then we're going to left click on run you want to type in dev mgmt dot msc and then hit ok on your mouse over the ok button or hit enter on your keyboard doesn't really matter So now you want to go underneath display adapters by left clicking the little drop down arrow next to it which is currently pointing to the right but you want to click on it then it will become a drop down. Whatever display adapter is listed here you want to right click on it and then left click on update driver software. You want to select search automatically for updated driver software. Okay, so the best driver software is currently installed, but if we go back in this little back arrow, sometimes Windows does not locate the most up-to-date software online. So what I would recommend is checking out another one of my videos if you do not know already how to manually um, locate driver software online. And then you would just go through browse my computer for driver software, and then you would install the software through there. Because typically, um, it takes a little bit of time for Microsoft to some get the most up-to-date drivers, and they might not always be looking in the right place for the driver software. So sometimes it's good to go out on your own and actually verify to see what the latest version of the driver software is. And in order to do so, you can just right-click on the display adapter and then left-click on properties. You can see different information about the driver. If you clicked on the driver tab, you can see the version of the driver which can be especially useful if you're going online trying to find if you are running in fact the latest version of the driver. So pretty straightforward and I thought I would just make that brief tutorial for you guys. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.